Hi, my name is Simone and I'm the Zen Mommy. I help people with spiritual awakening and navigating your ascension. And if you're new to my channel today, if you resonate, please subscribe. And if you press the bell button, it'll notify you of my next video. And for all my subscribers that have been with us, thank you for joining me today. So today, I just, I wanted to have a little talk about new age, <laughs> new age spirituality. Um, so if you're going through a spiritual awakening, or if you're new to a spiritual awakening, you're going to hear the term new age spirituality. And, you know, a lot of religious people, you know, they're going to tell you that you're new age, right? They're going to say, oh, that's new age spirituality. But what I want to tell you is don't let them tell you that. Don't let them create anything for you, first of all. But really don't accept the new age stuff. You see, who are they to say what new age is, okay? We had ancestors that started in this land before Jesus, Christianity, and all of the made-up religions that came along that was made by men, okay? We had ancestors that were spiritual. They were they revered nature. They were connected to the earth. They were connected to spirit, okay? There's nothing new age about it. And so when it comes to, you know, I was thinking about, I had learned, the, the history of how Christianity was created. And, you know, that gave me a big peace of mind, finding out that, you know, that the Egyptians, who were way more ancient, okay, I think Christianity was created, what, 6,000 years ago or whatever. And the Jew, what else I going to say? Um, the Egyptians, they actually, in their, their hieroglyphics, talked about um they talked about you know they talked about a messiah um someone dying and resurrecting after three days they talk about different things for their and it was an egyptian myth mythology and so in the story I had learned there was this guy named constantine who um I'm not going to go into this story. I really want to, but I want to, when I do, I want to have all of the proof and facts. I know people are going to be arguing with me, but just humor me because this is what I've read and what I've read to believe. And so Constantine was, um, he, worked, he, he, was, he worked with Alexander the Great. And, you know, they tortured the Egyptians to make him, he wanted to make himself a god. And, it, and he forced them to interpret our scrolls, the scrolls. And he used that information to create this religion, Christianity. And so he, he, he ended up not, they, the people didn't really accept him as a god. So he decided to create, put this energy into this Jewish religion and create this Jesus character. And so the reason why it was created was really to control the masses. And, but my point is, I'm not even going into all that. My point is, is this was created long after that story was already told with the Egyptian hieroglyphics. So now they have created some that people believe because it is based on something real. So people do, they do believe it. But the thing is, when you're unconscious, you'll blindly follow things. I remember I was in Christianity religion, in fact, and I blindly followed, you know, what the teachings were, right? Me and Dorian the other day, we were set up on Easter Sunday. We set up and read some of the Bible. Not because we wanted to read the Bible, but we were talking about slavery. And the Old and New Testament slavery was enforced. Slavery, it was said that the slaves who obey their master and call them Lord and respect them like Jesus Christ. Now, let me tell you something. Christianity was forced. And I didn't mean to go into all this. But it was the colonizers forced it on um, the indigenous peoples of, this, of America, this land. And they created, they enforced us into slaves. They took our natural belief systems away. They burned our books, our religion. They, hey, they burned our people at the, the stake the for, you know, take for our head spiritual head. practices, calling us witches. And they, they were so harsh that they forced our ancestors to worship Jesus. They were reading to us. We didn't even understand their language. But yet today, every person is so stuck on that religion. Not really reading straight through those slavery scriptures. Why would you want to be in a religion that, 
that promotes, condones slavery. Let me tell you something. Chicken, chicken. That right there would tell me, I don't want anything to do with that. So you have to start chicken, reading, chicken. listening to your intu intuition when it comes to this stuff. You can't just blindly follow things. You can follow what's in your heart and what's in your soul. Because I remember I was blindly following it. And then my heart and my intuition was telling me differently. And I was like, no, 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 but the Bible says. And see, the thing is, I was so programmed that I didn't see these scriptures on slavery. But that was not my topic. <laughs> so anyways, I, what was my topic? What did I start this way? Um, um, new Age. <laughs> so, didn't mean to go off on that tangent. But the thing is, don't allow someone to call you New Age. Because spiritual people revere nature. We are about the spirit. We're about being one with the earth, one with each other. We're about being creator gods. See, there's nothing new age about that. Um, even Whatever the, the practices, the religion is the new age thing, right? So I just wanted to have a talk about that. Um, nothing big. I didn't mean to go off on that tangent. But it's stuff that has been like bothering me since, you know, I learned that stuff. And, you know, maybe somebody needed to hear that. Maybe somebody stuck on religion needed to hear that. Because sometimes we go through awakening. A lot of us awaken, but we were we started off in another religion. We started off in Christianity. And see, the Christianity, they, they, it will have you so blocked in, in, in hell. They scare, they scare the hell out of, you, out of you with the whole idea of hell. With the whole idea of being eternally judged and you're a sinner and you're not going to heaven. See, there's nothing that's going to stop you from ascending if you want to ascend. Okay, you're a spirit, you're a creator God, you are <laughs> you are a spiritual being who came here for an experience. You can't mess up, right? Even if you came here to be a bad person, then that's what you're here to experience in your reality. Okay. And so that's all I want to say. We'll go into more detail about that if y'all really want to talk about that. Um, thank you for watching. Peace and love. Namaste.